Retriever live in the heart of game. <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'll compare the game Mighty Bomb Jack on the Commodore 64, the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga. And I, I'll start with the Commodore 64 version. And this game has bombs. So it already... Oops. And I suck. It already has uh, much more <coughs> to do with the original Bomb Jack than the uh, Bomb Jack 2 game. The only weird thing is, and I don't know if they are good, let's collect them. That you have to uh, jump if you are standing on, a, uh, on one of those treasure chests to uh, open them. But controls are nice, responsive. Graphic scrolls, quite nice. Animation is appropriate. Music is a little thin. And of course you can go backwards. If you missed something. And I don't know what those... Are those bombs? What those do? I have no clue. And every uh, second round, we get something like this. Something uh, similar to the first bomb jack. And here you have real flashing fuses on the uh, bombs. It's not too bad. Uh, that is bad, because you can't speed up this and the music is horrible. And that was another power up. I have no clue what it does. Oh, I've got everything over there. There's the exit. But I want to get uh, some more points. I don't know why. And the game isn't that hard, I think. Is there another exit? Okay. It's a little easy, but not a bad game. Wow! And okay, I restart in this level. Don't know why. Fooled you.
but it's not too bad. It's a nice platforming game. Well, it doesn't define the uh, platforming genre, but... And let's see what this exit does. Ah, it's a bonus front. Okay, it plays quite nice, graphics, controls are okay, music a little uh, thin, but uh, let's see how the Atari version compares. Okay, back with the Atari version. And the music is a little better, but that's everything. That's better. Scrolling is quite jerky, even for the ST. But the worst thing are the controls. They feel... No, it's not wooden, it's more like concrete. And uh, the worst thing is... Uh, He jumps if you deep press the button, not if you press the button. And that's really some, uh, something I can't get used to. So simply just tap the button. I think that's the easiest way to do it. But I find this very inconvenient. Graphics look quite nice. But I miss the speed from the Commodore 64 version. Everything is much, much slower, and that was just me. The moment I could pass, another opponent came. This is not an enjoyable game on the Atari. Too slow, too jerky, controls are not, not really good. It's not unplayable, but I don't like it. And suddenly this is faster. Don't know why, but... This round... ...is much more fun. Oh! And here I'm allowed... ...to continue in this round. On the Commodore 64 I had to start uh, the level before. So. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate. Level design, same as on the Commodore 64. 
And also the gameplay is pretty much like on the Commodore 64. It's just not as well executed. Same bonus round. So they uh, kept the level design in the uh, different versions and I like that. Okay, and I have to continue the same level since it was a bonus round. I don't know what... What have I done? I know. can come around uh, those weird control with jumping controls and the stiffness of the game it's not that terrible I think I showed you enough of this. Nah. Why can't I? Why can't I open that? But anyway, I think I showed you enough of the ST version. Let's continue with the Amiga. Okay, back with the Amiga. As expected, it has the best music, but scrolling is still a little bit jerky, and I don't think that is necessary on an Amiga. And it has the same button tapping jumping. Ah, okay, if you hold the button down and you've collected some power-ups before, you turn blue. Don't know what that, what that means. <clears throat> Let me at least finish the first round. And I think you don't have to collect anything. You can just walk to the right. And let's just try it. Will the exit be open? Yes, the exit is open, <coughs> and I turned blue. I 
I have to get that pee. Come on, I want to pee. And again, no chance to speed up this counter. We let's see how exit is open. I don't have to collect anything. Yeah, I have to do something to open the exit. Oh. But I can continue in this level and don't have to start. any reason to collect them? I don't think so. That didn't even give me points. And it doesn't look any uh, nicer than on the Atari. Ah, okay, if I'm blue I can open those locked chests. Good to know. Okay, I have enough of this game. It's not as bad as Bomb Jack 2. Quite nice on the Commodore 64. But I don't like it on these 16-bit systems. It's just... It's too boring and... It doesn't control very... It does control too nice. But it's pretty fun on the Commodore 64. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.